Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. It's Zach. I am so excited to be making this video today for you guys. I am going through nearly 30 of my sunscreen and at the end of the video, I only have 20 remaining. So I'm able to declutter some of them. This is going to be quite a long video as you can already tell. Grab a snack grab a drink mine is alcoholic i needed to get through this video and you might too without further ado please hit this like button hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell because for sunscreens that i talk about here if there's not already a designated video on my channel they will be coming so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out let's jump into it I want to give you guys a quick scan of the room just to show you the amount of sunscreens that I have collected here for the video. We're sitting in my bedroom floor on the rug and I've got everything sorted out. So pile number one is mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens, which means they have either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide as the active sunscreen ingredient. The middle pile here are combination sunscreens, meaning that they have both mineral and chemical sunscreen ingredients. And then to the right here, they all have chemical sunscreen ingredients. So we go mineral, combination, chemical. The combination is a combination of our mineral here and chemical here combined. So let's just start out with counting how many I have. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have 26 sunscreens. So how I'm gonna do this video is I'm gonna pull the sunscreen, go over the ingredients, tell you about the finish, and then tell you if I'm going to get rid of it or not. So again, we're gonna start with our mineral products here. So these are zinc oxide, titanium dioxide sunscreens. So starting out over here, I've got the La Roche-Posay SPF 50. It is their mineral sunscreen and it uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in this product. This is a very, very matte formula, but you just shake it up and then pour it out and it dries very, very matte. It has a slight white cast, but not bad. And this is great for the summer. I've got two of those, so I'm not going to reiterate, but I really like those. I'm going to keep those. Um, up next, I've got the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. This is their tinted sunscreen, as you can see, sheer tint, SPF of 30. And this is using also titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. I really like this formula. I do find it to be maybe a little bit greasy, but it, it does say it in the name that it's very hydrating, which I do agree with. And this is just great to help camouflage any white casts that you have from other sunscreens. Great sunscreen topper for me. It also does have the three essential ceramides that all CeraVe products have, and it has niacinamide, which is great for brightening and redness in the skin. Perfect for acne prone skin. Up next, I have a video on my channel reviewing this product as well. It is the Banana Boat Simply Protect Kids. I have the small travel size version. I picked this up for a dollar. This is great to just to have for the go in your car, in your bag or anything like that. This is great. They do sell a big size. Great value. And this is titanium and zinc oxide as well. SPF 50 plus, great product. There is a white cast but there is no fragrance and I don't find any irritation for this. I use this on my face as well as body. It is a little bit greasy on the face, but in the winter months, I don't mind it because it gives a nice glow and you don't have to worry about it running in your eyes because it is tear free. Definitely keeping this, I'm actually almost out of it. Next up, this is a very, very popular sunscreen online. It is the Verse Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen SPF 35. This is just a zinc oxide sunscreen, but it is actually technically a tinted sunscreen. So it does have a little bit of a tint to it. Let me show you guys that. While most sunscreens are white, this one does have a little bit of like a beige color to it. So it is a tinted sunscreen, which is similar to the CeraVe one, except they don't advertise that this is tinted, which I think is kind of weird. Um, I kind of like this sunscreen, but I don't know if it breaks me out or not. It's really hard to say. And that's just what it looks like when you start to blend it out. It doesn't actually leave a tint on the skin. It just doesn't have a white cast because of that tint. I'm going to try it out a little bit more and try to figure out if it is making me break out. But 
I do like it. The only thing is I think it's overpriced for the amount that you get and it's quite expensive for a drugstore product. After I just swatched it on my hand, I also want to mention that it does leave a tackiness, stickiness feeling on my face that does last all day long. And then when I reapply sunscreens throughout the day, it just gets worse. So yeah, I really don't know about that sunscreen. I do want to make a video on it for my YouTube channel specifically, but after that, I probably will donate it. This sunscreen I just picked up recently, this is the Live Better Body Mineral Sunscreen. So it is actually by CVS Health, but they I think they're coming out with this Live Better brand. It's an SPF of 50. It is a titanium and zinc oxide sunscreen. It has some pretty decent ingredients. It does say that it's for the body, but I think you could definitely use this on your face. It's got oat kernel extract, which should be soothing. And I will make a designated video specifically on this, but it is hypoallergenic and fragrance free, which is great. It's also water resistant. So I think this is going to be a great sunscreen as we head into the summer months and the body and the skin is more exposed. And I can't wait to put this on. I swatched it on my hand. There's a slight white cast, but it does not get caught up in hairs. So I'm also gonna try that on the face. Up next, I have the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Sunscreens. This is the OG original version. This actually is going to expire in uh, April of 2021. It is February 2021 when I'm filming. I'm nearly out of this, but it has lasted a long time for me and I really, really like it. Additionally, right next to it, we have the same exact thing except this one, they kind of reformulated it. It's now called a BB cream. And this one is actually for rich to deep skin tone. So it is very, very dark, uh, but it does work for me if I use a small amount. This is all they had in the store and I figured I would just pick it up to try it. Uh, it does work for me. I think this is great for especially deeper skin tones. Both of them are titanium and zinc oxide and they also are cruelty-free and vegan brand. This does dry matte, but it is moisturizing. It has things like shea butter in it. But I want to mention that this does have a extract in it that can be irritating as it is a fragrance particle. These do come in three shades now. They come in a fair to light, medium to tan, and then the rich to deep. So three different colors. They're great for just masking a white cast from sunscreens. So as on the hand, when I blend out that deep tone, it doesn't look out of place on my hand at all. So they just kind of blend into the skin and they will definitely cover up any white cast that you have. Definitely recommend it, very affordable at your local drugstore. Water resistant and SPF 50. We've got the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen. It's only an SPF of 20. It is my lowest sunscreen. And this is in their redness prone skin, redness relieving line. This was one of the first tinted sunscreens I ever tried. This actually has a good amount of coverage and it is fragrance free. We're working with titanium and zinc oxide with this product. And I do really like it, but this product is expired, so I'm going to have to toss it. If you do find that in your local store, I definitely recommend it. It is kind of a yellowy tone to help cancel out that redness. And it is just really, really going to be um, great for redness prone skin. Up next, and least for my mineral sunscreens, is the CVS Health SPF 50 Zinc Sheer Lotion. It's their... It's a mineral-based, lightweight, hyperallergenic, water-resistant sunscreen. It is supposed to be a dupe for the Neutrogena Sheer Dry Touch. And it definitely is. It is just zinc oxide in this product. I originally thought this would be pretty decent. Nothing in here that seems to be irritating for ingredients. And this was on sale, so it was very, very cheap when I picked it up. I think it was like $5, so that's great. But it is the biggest white cast you will ever see in your life. And it's the same news for the Neutrogena. So I definitely, I did use as much as I could. There's just some left at the bottom, but I just cannot use this anymore when I have all these other great sunscreens by me. But it did the job. It did not get sunburnt when I wear this. So I guess that's, that's uh, the point of it, but I would not recommend this pass. Okay, now we were on our combination section. So these will have either zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and then some chemical sunscreen filters again with a cvs health brand now this one is actually not a dupe product it's just their line of products and it is their clear zinc lotion this is way way better 
then the zinc sheer lotion that we just went over and this is a combination sunscreen so it has zinc oxide in there and then it has octocrylin which is the chemical filter i just picked up this one it's a two ounce size i got a great deal on this and then i've had the four ounce size i'm about to run out both of these are really really great and i like that they come in two different sizes so if you're traveling and need to take it on a plane you can get the two ounce or you can get the four ounce to get better money saving I don't like my sunscreens to be in jars though because if I am at the beach, I don't want to have to dip my fingers into something because my hands and I might not be super, super clean. So I don't really like that aspect of it, but I figured I'd give it a shot. There's a minimal white cast on both of those products. They are water resistant for 80 minutes and they, um, they blend into the skin really, really nicely. So I definitely recommend those, very affordable. Up next is the Ulta MD. This is their UV Sport. It is a broad spectrum SPF of 50. They claim that it is a transparent and zinc oxide and it is water resistant for 80 minutes. They're saying that this is a body sunscreen, but I mostly use this on my face. I really, really like it. It's combination, it's got zinc oxide, octane oxinate, and octisalate. Decent sunscreen ingredients. I don't find any problems with this. This leaves my skin so soft and smooth and I really, really do like this stuff. It is pretty, pretty pricey, but it does last a decent amount of time. And this one is, doesn't expire until July of 2021, and I've had this for about two years. So that's great that they cannot expire for so long so I can savor my use with it. I do recommend it, but again, it is a little bit pricey. Over here, I've got the Walgreens version, similar to the CVS version. These are kind of dupes for each other. It is the Walgreens 50 Sensitive Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It is also fragrance free. And this one claims to be oil free, but the ingredients lists are literally the exact same. They do have castor oil, both of them. They're water resistant for 80 minutes. And this one, just like the CVS, has zinc oxide and octocrylin as the active ingredient. These sunscreens also do have aloe vera, which is going to be nice on the skin. It can help hold on to water. It is a humectant and it also can help with redness in the skin and inflammation. Great sunscreens to pick up. Again, they leave minimal to no white cast. They dry down nice and they blend in really nice on the skin. Super affordable, highly recommend. This Walgreens one is three ounces, but it is in a squeezy tube. So if you're gonna be going on a flight and need a TSA friendly, affordable sunscreen, this is the one to get. This is a recent discovery of mine. It is the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. It is their universal tint anti-aging oil-free broad spectrum sunscreen. This is going to give you zinc oxide and octane oxinate. It is pretty decent. I really, really like the way this feels on my skin. It goes on really, really smooth. The tint doesn't really leave any color or coverage. It really is just to mask that white cast. And I really, really like the way that this feels. It's pretty pricey, $20. You only get 1.7 ounces, but it is a really great product and the packaging is really nice. It's got a nice pump on it. I do have a designated video on my channel of a lot of these sunscreens, so definitely run over and check those out. And lastly, for my combination sunscreens, I have the Banana Boat Simply Protect Sport SPF 50 Plus. This is in the same line as the kids that we talked about, except that this is the sport line, and this is a combination sunscreen. So in here we have Homo Salate, octane oxinate, octocrylin, and zinc oxide. So it's got mostly chemical filters, but it does have that zinc. This is a great body sunscreen. This is a huge uh, tube, nine ounces of product. This has got some nice ingredients in it. It's got capillic triglycerides, dimethicone. Uh, it's pretty much a non, no nonsense product. It's got beeswax, which is really hydrating. This is a little bit greasy. I've used this on my face for years uh, just because it's so freaking affordable and effective but this really is a body sunscreen. It is water resistant for 80 minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. And it is fragrance free like most of these. All of these are fragrance free unless I mention that they're not fragrance free. Great, great product. You can pick this up at your local drugstores. If you spend a lot of time outside in the summer, this is a great body sunscreen for you. And again, you can use it on the face. It just is gonna be a little bit greasy. Unfortunately, mine is expiring next month and it is so cold here 
in Boston area, so I'm going to have to get rid of this. We have the fully chemical sunscreens, and as you can see, not a lot of them are American brands. That's because I don't have a lot of faith in American chemical sunscreens because avabenzone is the only approved ingredient for UVA and it is not photostable, it's just not that effective. So, so I like to use different brands uh, to make sure I'm getting broad spectrum coverage. All right, starting off, we have an American product. It is the La Roche-Posay Clear Skin Face SPF 60. This is uh, avabenzone, homosalate, oxysalate, octoprolin, and this is a pretty decent sunscreen. Since they are chemical sunscreens, there's no white cast typically, like 90% of the time. No white cast on this. It does get in my uh, facial hair a tiny, teeny tiny bit, but it is a pretty good sunscreen. And with that on Thelos, they have stabilized the avabenzone, but I still don't always rely on this uh, product, but it's really great for oily skin people as it is that dry touch formulation. Mine is unfortunately just expired January, 2021. I did not get through it because I can only use this in the summer, otherwise it's too drying. So unfortunately this one is gotta go in the trash. All right, up next, I do have designated videos on most of these products is the Suncut UV Protect Gel SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. This is such a great product. It comes in a pump bottle, which I really, really like. This is so affordable. You get 160 grams of product, which is great. I love the way that this goes on. It does leave a little bit of a dewiness onto the skin, but I don't mind it. And this is gonna give you great UVA, UVB protection. You can check out a full video that I have on my channel of this. If you go onto my channel, go to playlist sunscreen reviews, you can find it there, but that's a great sunscreen and I'm about halfway through it and I really, really like this. Next to it, I've got the Beat Shield. This is a antioxidant day fluid. This actually is an SPF 50 from Crave Beauty, but uh, because they are selling it in the US, they cannot say that it's a sunscreen because the filters are not approved, like I mentioned earlier. So that is very unfortunate, but just know that this is SPF 50. You can also get them shipped here from Korea if you would like. This is a cruelty-free brand, but unfortunately mine is expired as well because they only give you 12 months from opening. So I don't really like that, but it is a small tube. So most people should have went through it. I do really like this. It's also got some great other ingredients like beetroot, allerton, vitamin C, resveratrol, EGC, so there are some other benefits to this product besides the sunscreen. And it does go onto the skin clear like the rest of these and it leaves a little bit of a dewy glow. A little bit of a controversy product. We have the Dear Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. I actually have never used this so I don't have anything to say about it but they are still waiting on whether this has sunscreen SPF 50 or not. Like it claims, it claims to be SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. It is supposed to be vegan, uh, broad spectrum and a water-based gel texture. So this is definitely gonna be super, super lightweight. Um, this one is expiring not until 2023. So, wow, that's, that's really amazing. And I totally appreciate that because I have like two years to use this. So that's that's great. So I'm just going to wait to see what they come out with from the testing data, but it might not be SPF 50 plus. We'll keep updated out on that one. Up next, we have the Skin Agua UV Super Moisture Gel SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. This was one of the first sunscreens I ever reviewed on my channel. So the video is not the best. It was before I kind of figured out how to make YouTube videos and speak on camera. Um, but just know that this is a great sunscreen. I'm nearly out of it. I like the packaging, it's sleek. You just take off the lid and then you just squeeze it out. I really like this. I use this all summer and I never got sunburned at the beach. So I do believe it is an SPF 50 plus. Under 10 grams, not a bad price. It is a Japanese sunscreen and it doesn't really leave the skin greasy or anything. It leaves the skin a little bit sticky though. So if you don't like that, then you might not want this product. All right, moving back to America, we have the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch SPF 55. This uh, is stabilized avabenzone because they use the Helioplex, which gives them the broad spectrum UVA, UVB. Though some people do find that that can be irritating and sting, especially around their eyes. This is water resistant for 80 minutes. These are the sunscreen ingredients here. 
and just know that this product does have fragrance in it so that could be irritating for you this is pretty drying as well it's got things like silica to help mop up some oil it does leave a matte finish which i do like in the summer this one is about to expire and I didn't really like this one because it has a strong Febreze scent to it and it also is a little bit, it kind of pills up a little bit on my skin. Here is a quick swatch of it there for you and uh, it blends into the skin nicely and it does have that nice matte finish. And that is it fully blended in on the skin. I am going to pass on this one. I'm just going to toss it. The biggest controversy ever, we've got the Pareto sunscreen. So first off, we've got the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 and the Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SPF 50. So there's been some testing data that came back that said that these are SPF 19 and then other data came back and said that they're SPF of 29 or something. Either way, they're not SPF 50 plus, and that might be the case for some other products as we get more data to come back. I did get a refund, but it was a pain in the butt to get the refund. YesStyle was very confused on it. The communication between YesStyle and Pareto and myself just was terrible. It was so hard to get a refund back. I ended up having to fight through my credit card company, opening up a dispute to get the refund. Luckily, my credit card company you know, did that for me, but yeah, pain in the butt. I've started to use this Perito one. I wrote the expiration date because it does expire 12 months from opening. Cruelty free, which I really appreciate. So this is gonna expire January of 2022. I do like it. It leaves a little bit of a dewy glow, but it does look and feel nice on the skin. Super lightweight. It is not sticky and no white cast. I can't speak about long-term effects, Centella doing anything for me, but uh, it is a nice sunscreen. Again, it's just not that SPF 50 and it's not a good price at all either. You only get two fluid ounces of product and this retails when it was on sale for like 14 bucks. So that's not the best, um, especially since it's not even that SPF 50. Next to it is the Comfy Water Sunblock. I haven't even opened this or tried it. Um, so I don't have anything to say about it, but again, I guess this is not SPF 50 either. Yeah, you can't even find them on sale anymore. Let's go over to this one. This is the Hada Labo SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. It is their UV white gel. This is my favorite sunscreen of all time, but I do not like the packaging. You get 90 grams of product. I do not, cannot read any of that. I do not speak Japanese. As mentioned, I do not like sunscreens that are in jars, but I love this sunscreen so much. I'm nearly out of it, probably like 10 or 20% left. I'm willing to overlook it because I love this product so much. It is just so lightweight feeling. It just blends into the skin like nothing. It is so watery and invisible. It is just absolutely beautiful. This leaves the skin so hydrated, supple, soft, and smooth, but it's not oily at all. I've never seen anything like it, and it's my absolute favorite. It is about $22, so it is a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, it is totally worth it. My absolute favorite. And last but not least, we've got an American sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat Sport Performance SPF 50 Plus. This is a lightweight feeling, water resistant body sunscreen for active people. I, to be honest, prefer the Simply Protect Sport. This is a fully chemical uh, sunscreen here. And again, I do prefer the other one over this but this is not a bad sunscreen at all. It also is fragrance free, so I do appreciate that. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not fabulous, and you get eight fluid ounces. This you'll see in your aisles all summer long at every you know, grocery store, drugstore, anything like that, Target, you will see this in that section. So if you want an affordable sport sunscreen, then pick it up, but for me, I would get the Simply Protect. I don't know the expiration date. I've definitely had this for a while, so I think this is expired, so I'm going to toss it, but there's about half of it left over. So I think I did a pretty decent job. These are, I'm pretty happy with my results. These are all the sunscreens that I'm going to be getting rid of because they're either expired or suck. So that's unfortunate, but that's what happens when you have so many sunscreens. And clearly they expired. I didn't get through them because they're not my absolute favorite. If it was my favorite, I would have been, you know, using it nonstop and it would never expire. So this is what I'm left with for my mineral sunscreens. This is what I'm left with for my combination sunscreens. 
And this is what I'm left with for my chemical sunscreens. And I don't even know if I can count these two since they were not even sure, you know, what's going on with them. But uh, yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching. I really like doing this type of video. I got to declutter a little bit, give little mini reviews. But again, if you want more in-depth reviews, click on my channel, go over to playlist, click on sunscreen review. These products are gonna be on there. Most of these uh, products mentioned here are going to already have a review up or have a review coming. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And hopefully 2021, I'll be able to test out some more sunscreens for you guys. I'm always on the hunt for the best and most affordable sunscreen. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.